Well, tonight, Chicago police are investigating what led up to an officer pulling the trigger and shooting a teenager. CBS 2's Mai Martinez is live in Hyde Park, where that boy is recovering. Mai. Erica, Chicago police say that 17-year-old is in serious but stable condition tonight. As for what led to the shooting, the officer says the teen pointed a gun at him, and that's why he shot him. I have to be honest with you all. It was a little bit difficult to sleep last night. Addressing the latest Chicago police involved shooting, Superintendent Eddie Johnson expressed concern and relief. So I'm very thankful that this situation did not result in a devastating tragedy. The shooting happened shortly after 9.30 last night. According to Chicago police, the officer who was on duty and in uniform had just left the family dollar store at 79th and Yates after buying water when the 17-year-old walked up to him at his marked CPD cruiser. As the officer was entering his car and getting settled, an offender approached him with a gun in hand and a confrontation ensued. The officer was able to unholster his weapon the fire shots. After shooting the teen, the officer notified dispatch. Call fire emergency. Fire by the police. 79th and Yates. This man on the way. Teacher just laid on foot. Ruins barrel. Man went up on me. Got the light in my face. Responding officers took the 17-year-old into custody in a nearby alley, and he was rushed to the University of Chicago Medical Center. A Chicago police spokesman later tweeted this picture of a gun officers say was recovered at the scene. I can't tell you all what this young man was thinking, but his actions were clearly extremely dangerous. According to Chicago police, the teenager does have a criminal history, but because he's a juvenile, they cannot provide details. Per protocol, the Civilian Office of Police Accountability is handling this investigation, and the officer involved has been placed on 30 days administrative desk duties. Reporting live from Hyde Park, Mai Martinez, CBS2 News. Erica? Thank you, Mai.